I want to deal with a topic today entitled striving together. Striving together. All right? And what does striving mean? Striving means working, actively working together. But listen to what Philippians 1.27, Paul's writing to the Philippian church. And he says, guys, this is what I want you to do. Only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ. So that whether I come and see you or I am absent, I hear of your affairs. That you stand fast in one spirit. Here it is. With one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Now, I want to ask you, what does it mean to strive together for the faith of the gospel? What does that mean practically? It means the following. Are you working together with your brother to try and get the gospel applied in each of your lives? Are you actually saying, listen, you and I are going to work together to this and we're going to make sure that we get this right. You see, it's very important that we as believers work together with one another, supporting one another, discussing this and say, how do I apply this thing in my life? Am I getting it right? All right. But look, this thing here is something that you may be lacking in. Let's look at this thing. Let's get this thing together. Together we're working on applying the gospel correctly. Now, let me give you a testimony. You know, I had, a, I had a, a young man who was like my peer, and we would spiritually father each other, and it's very scary doing it with you young people, but we were trying. And I remember many nights, we would go fishing on the river, and we had, my dad had a cabin boat, and so we sat in the cabin boat, and many nights we would go right through the night discussing the gospel. And how to practically apply it in our lives. How, if the Bible says this, how do I practically do this? And let me tell you something. I still look back at those discussions and try and apply those principles that we came up with then. You see, when we're striving together, we are not trying to criticize somebody. We are not trying to break them down. We are not trying to minimize who they are and what they do. But what we are doing is saying, let's grow together. Let's link arms and let's push this thing further than what we've been before. You know, I'm so excited when I hear of people just praying for somebody else. You know, when we do the basics, the Bible says you'll pray for the sick. All right. My question is this as a believer, when last have you actually prayed for the sick? When I said you laid hands on somebody saying, in the name of Jesus, be healed. It did not say a complicated prayer. You know, you go look at Peter and he goes, silver and gold I don't have, but what I have in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up. That is not complicated. He goes, listen, in today's society, it's like, listen, I don't have any money for your biggest come to him. And the guy's paralyzed. He says, listen, I don't have any money. But in the name of Jesus Christ, stand up. That's all he said. And the guy was healed. Are we pushing in for those levels? Are we pushing into laying hands on the sick and doing what God called us to do? See, and this is what it speaks about striving for the faith. Striving for what we believe. Working together and pushing in on these things and saying, listen, I'm going to get this thing right. You know, many of us have had to strive to pass matric or our exams. You work hard to get through. Some of us didn't put in the hours we should have. And we strive to push in. And it's the same energy, the same intensity. Are you striving to push into the things of God, to apply the things of God, to practice the things of God, to see God's word operating in your life? And this is what we're looking forward to. Seeing the victory, seeing the power of God, seeing God's word in operation. So that if anybody looks at us, that we would have a good report. What is the report about you? This is how you measure whether you're striving or not. What is the report? Is the report of somebody who is trying? Might not always get it right. Are you going to have issues and mistakes? Of course, we all do. But are you at least trying? 
Are you known as somebody who is trying to apply the word? Or are you somebody who just says stuff and doesn't do anything? And so this is very important that we get these things established in our lives. So this morning when we come around the table, let us thank God for what He's doing in our lives. But let us thank God for our brothers and sisters that are helping us strive to bring it into pass. Father, we come before you this morning. I ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive or intention. Father, I pray right now that in the name of Jesus we will not be the same again. And Lord, that we will do what you've called us to do in Jesus' name. And Father, I pray right now that as we take of the elements, that we will genuinely strive to do what your word says. And Lord, that we will work together and help each other. And Lord, that we will practice your word in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I pray that you'll make yourself so real to us as we take of the elements right now in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's both take together. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, we release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. And Lord, I thank you that the Spirit of God that dwells inside of us quicken our mortal body. Thank you, Lord, that we are healed in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I want to bless you this morning. I want to say what a glorious day to be alive. I love the Lord Jesus Christ and I love you. And I want to say it's awesome. It's awesome to be alive today. Amen. All right. I want to remind you that we've got teams out. Um, Pastor Frederick is going to be in the Rudderport area and he's got another area. I can't think of the other one. And uh, Pastor Charles and Marianne are going to be at, um, where are they this morning? Okay. They are in Porch. All right. I think they're in the Porch area. Okay. So please get ready for them and go and meet them at those meetings. I'm telling you, you are going to be blessed. It's going to be absolutely wonderful so that you can get the input that you need in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. And then tonight we have a guest speaker, so get ready for that. And then I want to remind you again about our fire conference, right? It's important that we get under the anointing. It is in October. It is going to be in River Castile, just outside of Cape Town. And we are focusing on the anointing breaks the yoke of bondage. And we are trusting God that the anointing is going to break everything that's, that's resting on people in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So right now, we are going to pray over our families. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we lift up each and every family before you. Father, I pray your blessing and anointing over our families. Thank you, Lord, that the prophetic word for this year is that families will be restored. And Lord, I pray for a supernatural restoration of our families. Lord, that our families are going to be blessed. Our families are going to be anointed. Our families are going to come into the place that you called them to do, carrying the destiny and the purpose that you called them to do. Father, I pray right now that you're going to do something supernatural in amongst each and every one of our family members. Lord, every single one that is not serving you, we call them into the fold in Jesus' name. Everyone that is being rebellious to their calling, I call them back into their function in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that as a family unit, we will stand strong, we will be blessed, and we will see the power of God over our families. Lord, I thank you that there will not be any lack in our families in Jesus' name. I pray for total restoration, total blessing, total assignment from God, and Lord, total protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you move by your spirit over our families. We bless you. We anoint you this morning. And Lord, we anoint um, each and every one in our family today. And we thank you for the anointing that breaks the yoke in Jesus' name. Lord, your presence breaks every yoke of bondage. And Father, we anoint our family today. We release the power of God. And we thank you, Lord, that our families are broken off from any demonic influence in Jesus' name. Lord, I come against any curse, any concentration, any thought that has been placed over our families today. I break its power and I release them into the fullness of God in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. 
Well, saints, I want to bless you this morning. I want to say what a glorious, glorious day. Amen. All right, let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I do not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God. Saints, go out with might, go out with valor, and go and do what Jesus Christ has called you to do in Jesus' mighty name.